Last time we looked at the performance of elite athletes under mental pressure and physical pressure and we saw that they behaved differently from the non-elite participants in those tests. Today what we're going to be looking at is how elite athletes respond to emotional information. We all get conditioned to fear in what we do and it's uh, going to be curious to see if that conditioning kind of translates into performance. We're going to use two types of tests with the athletes, one a test of perception, one a test of, of memory and we're going to present images during those tests that will induce at different emotional states, states of fear and more pleasant states as well. From a young age I've, uh, I've competed in, in motorsport, uh, you know, I guess a dangerous high-risk environment. Uh, hopefully I can uh, get inside my own brain today. When you're exposed to emotions, it takes you a little bit of time to process them and what we want to find out today is who processes them the quickest. People from the outside look in and think we're mad. But, uh, I can assure you, it's all calculated. For me, like, I feel like I'm quite a calculated person. I, yeah, I get scared all the time, and, um, but I manage those risks. It's always difficult to know what we're going to expect. I think everyone processes fear in a very similar way, and I've just got very good at getting comfortable with it. I don't really panic very much in life, and I don't experience fear too much, um, but I think this test is really designed to evoke fear. You know, I'm used to an element of, of danger and, and fear, you know, on, on, a, on a weekly basis, but, uh, you know, the fear side of it, I guess, I, I set to one side for the weekend. I can't quite put my finger on why I get this buzz from fear, but I'll keep coming back to it. Speed scares me, and, yeah, the ocean scares me, but the ocean's where I feel most comfortable. That's where I like to push it, so I like that fear, but I like to play with that fear. The one thing that sometimes that scares me is, is, is failing really, you know, I want to be successful, I want to be running in front of races. I think athletes think fear is a different thing, so you might find an athlete which you think would be fearless has fear, whereas one you think would be cautious isn't. They just don't feel fear in the same way that we do. 